my name is AJ Pruitt and I am the author of the Anna Thalian series. I'm also a self-published author and I do my own interior formatting. And interior formatting is what this video and this series of videos will be about. Um, so I am going to walk you through all the steps of interior formatting from, I use one of my own books and I took videos from the steps of just having the text and not even having the text in the right font that I wanted all the way up until publishing. So every single step, each video will be a different step. So I'll go in depth into each step, um, as much in depth as you can. Some will be very short, like changing the font type, um, and some will be a lot more in depth, like putting pictures into your manuscript. So if you have any questions about interior formatting, watch this video, watch this series of videos. Also, I have a longer video that talks about many aspects of formatting, and it puts it all in one video so I will link that video below um, this video will be in a playlist once I get more than one video this video and series will be in a playlist but I will also link that long video below so if you um, so if this is one of the earlier videos and you don't find what you want yet you can find what you want in that longer video and you can always ask questions in the comments of course and I'll let you know if it's coming or I'll answer your question right now. all right so in this video I'm going to show you how to format your chapter headings like right here where it says chapter three. Different people do this different way. Some people use the heading styles right here to format their headings. Um, that There's different ways to do this. And depending on the style of your book, what you want your book to look like, you can use different fonts, different fancy things. I'm gonna show you just a way to make it look clean, professional, and um, just a more simple way and how to use just the basic word here. Okay, so I've already formatted my body text. I have already created my page size, already created my margins. These are all in other videos, so if you want to watch those, look at the links below. Um, and I have put in my section breaks for my chapters. Make sure you do that before you format your chapter headings. Okay, so I, I like to, um, let's see, I like to have two spaces before and two spaces after at a 12 point font. So I've inserted two spaces before my chapter, two spaces after my chapter header at a 12 point font. 12 point font is what I'm using for the body text. This is a children's chapter book, so I want the font to be a little bigger than like the 11.5 that most people use for adult chapter books. Okay, so let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Okay, here we are at the top of the page. Um, so, and usually, okay, so usually I have an illustration. In my chapter books that I have created, I usually have an illustration. And they put the chapter header, like, further down on the page. And so I may go back and decide I want it farther down on the page. And also, um, the author I'm co-authoring with this, we've decided we want a small illustration, and so we may insert that too, and they, that may put it for farther down on the page. Um, and typically you do want it farther down on the page in just two spaces. Um, but I would usually put my illustration here, put two spaces, my chapter title, two more spaces, start the body text. Um, but here, I'm just going to show you how to format this right here. I'm not telling you where to put it or anything. So, that's what this video is. Let's get to it. Oop. Okay. You want to highlight that. And you're going to go up here to this little thing that has a capital A, lowercase a, and you want it all uppercase. So, it magically makes it all uppercase. You can type it in all caps if you want, but if you already have it typed, you can just do it like that. Okay, and now I want to make it bigger than the rest of the text. I like to make it, um, so we'll go 16 point font. And then, to make it look just a little bit more professional, do just the first letter of each word and make it, I make it 20 point font. So we have 20 point font with the 16 point font after. So we're going to go to the T of 3 and we're going to make that 20 point font too. And so I have my paragraph marks on just to help me with the formatting. But see, whenever it's off, it looks nice and clean and professional. And also you want to center your um <clears throat> you want to center your chapter heading so it looks like it's in the middle like chapter headings are. Okay, and you can name your chapter. You don't have to name it chapter 3. Some people just leave it chapter 3. Some people do a number. Like I said, 
people do this so many different ways, but if you just want a nice, clean, professional look to a written out chapter title, that is how you can do it. And make sure if you do it like this here, you do it like for your table of contents, you do it when you have your author note, keep the sizing, keep the font consistent, keep it all consistent. That's the most important thing for you to remember whenever you're doing your chapter chapter headings or section headings, that you keep it consistent. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you in this video. Uh. All right, so now that I have the proof copy um, and have decided what to do, I put four spaces above the chapter header and have the chapter header, and those spaces are 12-point spaces. I always make sure my spaces are 12-point spaces, even though my chapter header is a different <laughs> size. Here's my child. Um, okay, so four 12-point spaces, the header, one space, the uh, small illustration, and then one more space. And I suppose we're... Remember, this is part of a series. Please check the playlist to see if you need any other help with any other aspect of formatting. And there's that longer video that you can look at that will be in the description below. Always ask questions if you want to ask questions. This is a difficult process to do your own interior formatting, so please ask questions. Let's help each other. Um, please comment this comment. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and this playlist with others so they can find it too and have help too. And thank you very much for watching. Bye. If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is hapruitt.com.